Hey guys, Zane here with another quick one take review, and today I wanted to talk about the Joni Mitchell album, The Hissing of Summer Lawns. Now, before I continue my quick ramblings about this album, I do want to just get this out of the way and say, first and foremost, I think Joni Mitchell is a great talent. Of course, her voice is lovely, her songwriting's phenomenal, and I mean, frankly, you would have to be a fool to not list her as among the greatest songwriters of her generation. Now, with that being said, that is why it really just pains me to ask, why is this album so incredibly boring? I mean, vocally, Joni Mitchell sounds great here as she kind of softly croons over these very jazz-inspired, sometimes almost like Afro-Cuban jazz-inspired instrumentals, and I mean, from that aspect, this record is fantastic and almost typical Joni Mitchell. The only issue here, and it's a big one, is that it truly does nothing remotely interesting. Not once does the hissing of the summer lawns attempt to be engaging in any way or grab your attention or even remotely make you focus on one particular aspect about it. It is truly the nothing album outside of Joni Mitchell's actual performance. If you asked me to define you what non-instrumental background music sounded like, I would direct you to this record. As Joni Mitchell has proven through a number of other albums like Blue and plenty of different iconic songs that have defined her generation of singer-songwriters, she is capable of doing absolutely stunning music, but that just doesn't end up ringing true here, and it doesn't help that this record is cursed with bland compositions and disenchanting performances besides her vocal work. Unfortunately, although Joni Mitchell is absolutely one of the greats and rightfully remembered as so and listed alongside the likes of Dylan and Young and Cohen as one of the greatest songwriters of this wave, this generation of lyricists, The Hissing of Summer Lawns is just, frankly, boring. There's nothing to be said about it besides that, and that's why I'm going to have to end up giving it three stars out of five. If it weren't for Joni Mitchell's absolutely stunning voice, I would probably give it much, much lower because there are... A couple of examples here where she doesn't even sound that great vocally, but nonetheless she does deliver excellent vocals as you would probably expect if you're familiar with Joni Mitchell, so that does save it from being a total catastrophic failure of an album, but still, there's no excusing just how dry this record is for the most part, so yeah, 3 stars out of 5 and that's the end of this quick review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.